Uh, next example, we are looking for the sum of the series uh, if it converges. So let's see if this series converges first. Uh, we are not given the generic term, so we have to find it. The summation n equals 1 all the way to infinity. Well, it's got another alternating term in an alternating series, so we have to multiply the uh, negative 1 term. Well, we know that this is uh, a ge geometric series because of the 1, consistent 1 in the numerator. So uh, we know that our a value is going to be 1. So a is going to be a is going to be 3, pardon me, because it's the first term, but r is going to be uh, the second term divided by the first term. So 1 divided by 3, 1 ninth divided by 1 third, they're all 1 third. But this time it's negative 1 third. So we don't really need this uh, negative 1 term because it's already incorporated into the r term. So since we're looking for the sum of the series, we don't actually need to write out our uh, our geometric generic form. So we just use these a and r values. Well, we know that we know that r is less than one, negative one third. So uh, by the by the test, we know that by the geometric series test, we know that our series converges because r is less than one. Well, let's go ahead and apply the sum formula then. If the series converges. Well, sum formula equals a over 1 minus r. So a equals 3 over 1 minus negative 1 third. And if we do the math here, we get something like 9 over 4. And 9 over 4 is the, is the sum of the entire series. So that was a two-part two -part problem, where first we have to find the convergence, then solve for the sum of the whole series if it converged. So that was a look at the convergence test, uh, the series of series is alternating, in other words, alternating series. So that concludes all the types of uh, infinite series, series that we're going to look at for the first part of the BC exam. There is another called the Taylor series that we will look at uh, further into the lessons. So for now, thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you in the next lesson.